medal goes to contestant number six. It goes. Mention five prominent historical men who fought to maintain the heritage of Lango. Mention five prominent historical men who fought to maintain the heritage of Lango. Uh, about the five men who fought for the heritage of Lao culture, we have number one, the, the late Dr. Apollo Milton of Bore. Yeah. Number two, we have Phil Marshall Okello. Number three, we have we have Okello Ingola Mashugua. Number four, we have Major General Oyiro Jok. Your time is up. Thank you. Contestant number nine, you are aware that the name of we belongs to the Lango people. Why is the name of we found in the kingdom of Bunyoro? found in the kingdom of Unyoro. Thank you for your question. The name Owe is found in the kingdom of Unyoro because King Kavalega hid in Kangai for five years until the white, the British captured them. Explain to us the meaning of Tueyolao as used in the Lao dictionary. First, I want to begin by explaining what I understand by Lao. Lao, in our culture, in Lao sub region, we used it or we still use it for sitting down, for resting during the day, and then for resting in the night. The meaning, I think the meaning of Tui Lao means that I think the meaning of Tui Lao in Lab Lao means really call me? I think it's like that. Yeah. Why is Ojuang Hill or God Ojuang remembered in the history of Lango? Thank you so much, Judge, for that question. Go to Juang is remembered in the history of Lao because that's also the route Lao used to enter in Lao Sabi. Thank you.
When was Omkama Kavalega and Kabaka Mwanga arrested? And in which place were they arrested from? From, from which place were they arrested? Thank you so much for your question. They were arrested in Kangai, Dongolo district. When were they arrested? I beg your pardon? When were they arrested? Which year was that? I can, I can, I can ask again. Why were they arrested? They were arrested because they left their homeland and hid in Kangai District, where they came and uh, they were caught. No, only that. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for your response. What is your view? on the fate of Lango in regards to the two paramount chiefs. I beg your pardon. Thank you. My question is, what is your view on the fate of Lango in regards to the two paramount chiefs. Thank you so much. My view to the two paramount chiefs is they should unite together because I believe together we can stand strong and make now a unique culture. Thank you. Contestant number eight. Who is the owner of Gotojuan? Who is the owner of the land where the Gotojuan is situated? Thank you so much for the question. The owner of the land where Gotojuan is located is called Ojuang. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is an evening of learning. We are all learning something. Aren't we? Judges, do you have any more questions? Or we are done for the night? Contestant five. Step forward. Is it true that you visited the footprint of Ulum? Yes, we did. Okay, that's great. What is the worst challenge? The, the footprint of Olum has ever faced? The footprint of Olum, it's already bushy, and we need to deploy people around there to trim the bushes around the yellow loom. Thank you. Please give us a tour site in Dokolo district. Thank you so much for that. Um, I visited Doholo district and the most prominent and important tourism site in Doholo district is found in Kangai. That is called uh, Kangai Banka where Omuka Monyoro and Kawalega hid running away from the brutal leadership of the whites. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. What was the main purpose of the water logged uh, area on Ojuang Hill? Pardon? Yeah. 
Okay, tell us something about the water on Ojoan Hill. Um, the waters were used for drinking those days. So people who used to go to grind used to drink that water. Furthermore, first stay there. Contestant number 10. We are aware that the first Lango grinding stone is found on Gotujuang. And when you visit that site, you get to find like a sitting arrangement that the first Lango arranged. They arranged in form of rocks and the waterlogged area we are asking you about was a place where they used to perform some cultural practices. So I want you to be specific, to tell me the main cultural practice that was performed in that waterlogged area. I've not understood our question. Thank you so much. Um, at your service, relax yourself and listen carefully. True? Yes. When we visit that site, we're going to find the first grinding stone made by the Lango people. Is that true? Yes. And on that hill, we have the sitting arrangements that they made out of rocks. They used to use those rocks as their living, their sitting rooms, but there was a waterlogged area, and when you go there, the waterlogged area is still in existence. There was a cultural practice they used to perform in that specific area. What was that cultural practice? I think... Uh Thank you. Okay. Yes, I'm aware that you have been, uh, you know, learning much about now culture, about heri heritage. I want to um, ask, in regard to cultural values, how best would you instill the spirit of multicultural, multiculturalism in schools? Thank you, my judge, for the wonderful questions. Please, I beg your pardon one more time. Okay, in regards to cultural values, eh, how best would you instill the spirit of multiculturalism in, in schools? Like, okay, I can't explain because I expect you um, to, to, to pick the concept. Okay. Thank you so much, my judge, for the wonderful question. First of all, we are aware that the Lao culture is not known to the young generation. The Lao culture was known in the past, but nowadays the Lao culture has been drained. For me, what I will do to different institutions and schools First of all, like in the bigger institutions, I can promote Lao Culture Gala in different schools. Then secondly, to the young generation, I can make them, them in different schools, they can organize cultural festivals and events in the primary schools to dance the Lao traditional dances. Thirdly, I'll, I'll organize a project that will be based on teaching and educating the young generation and the youth on the Lao culture and how to preserve the Lao culture so that it can be preserved forever and never. Thank you. Furthermore, we are aware that the Lao are the plain nylons. 
Most people try to associate us with the Luo people. But if you dig deep into history, we are not Luo. Mention four. Okay, let me reduce to two. Mention two cousins close to the Lango people. Two cousins of the Lango people. Now, Gamapeni, it's open. It's open. Thanks for the question. You're welcome. We have Karamo Jones and Ite Sod. Thank you so much. You can go and take a rest. Wariwa. Then you'll come back for the next session. <laughs>